Hey, it's Rose with Bizbuzz TV here with Lee Crouch of the Fairfield Museum. Hi, Lee. Hi, how are you? Great, great to be here today. Tell us about this museum. Welcome. We're thrilled you're here. The Fairfield Museum is located in Fairfield, Connecticut. It's a part of the historic green, and we are here to celebrate the history of Fairfield and the history of Connecticut, but more importantly, to explore the past and imagine the future. So it's very, very exciting. But we also have great opportunities like this exhibit we're going to talk about where we are able to educate adults and children about what's happening and what has happened in this, in this region. Right. And now you have a brand new exhibit here. It's going to run through February, correct? We do. It's called The Promise of Freedom. And it is recognizing in a lot of historical ways with a lot of rare artifacts the 150th anniversary of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Wow. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk through it and you're going to show us some of these artifacts and the main attractions. Great. All Great. right. Let's Come go. In and we, um, we really feel like this is a, a very, very special exhibit because it not only talks about slavery in the United States, but it really focuses a lot on what was happening in Connecticut and in Fairfield and how was that affecting the day-to-day -day lives of the people that lived here. Connecticut was, at the time of the American Revolution, the largest state in New England with the most slaves. So, um, and there was, a, there was a lot of slavery activity in Fairfield itself. So what we're trying to do here is really educate adults and children about what really happened in that period of time. Mm. There's a quote here, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just, that his justice cannot sleep forever, Thomas Jefferson. It correlates to the copy of the 13th Amendment that we have here, which is very rare and very special. We have different perspectives on what was happening from different key political figures during the time. So as you can see over here, we have some of these artifacts. Very disturbing, too, you know. Disturbing, but you know, it, it really is what, what was going on. And I think sometimes visually, you can, you can parlay history and historical facts. So I think this, this exhibit does a great job of that. Absolutely. You can check out everything on this wall over here. Now let's come over down. What do we have here? Well, this, um, this wall really talks about Abraham Lincoln and what his position on slavery was. And this talks about Connecticut, but also talks about what was happening in the North and what was happening in the South. And um, what we have here is a rare, rare copy of the signed Emancipation Proclamation itself, signed by President Lincoln. So right over here, right here, you can see that's his actual signature right there. That is it. Wow. And, 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 and in this case, you see the actual pen that mm -hmm. he used to sign it. And this is one of just a few copies that exist in the United States. And we were fortunate enough to be able to get it here. And we, we just want to let everyone know that it's here. We also are doing a lot of things with schools and um, curriculum related to this period in time with history. So we have a lot of adults, but we also have a lot of school groups that come in. And this exhibit has a lot of interactive devices to it. So kids are also able to relate and they're very in, intrigued with some of the visual things that they're seeing as well. So what do we have coming over this way? It looks like uh, the Ku Klux Klan exhibit over here. We do, and the premise of this exhibit is not just to show what happened during the Emancipation Proclamation time frame, but also to show from 1865 to the present what we've been struggling with in terms of freedom and people's rights and that sort of thing. So we have a video here of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech. Right, and uh, it's very sobering up here. It says the struggle for equality, 1865 to present, uh, the Ku Klux Klan. You, you're hearing reports that it's still in existence in the South. It's still going on. So it's very sobering that here we are in 2012, right. and that's still an issue, and it's still a mindset and with, with some people in the United States. Right. So that, I think, is a very important message to make kids aware of, that We've made progress, but there's still lots of progress to there come. There still is, true. And even just Martin Luther King, I mean, that was 100 years after the Emancipation Proclamation, wasn't right. it? Right, exactly. Yes, yeah. exactly. Always a work in progress, right. but things like this are really helping get the message across. Now, now I can see through the window the other gallery. You have so much more going on. What's over there? We do. We actually have some artifacts, uniforms, military weapons that were used in the war. And then we have a whole gallery of civil rights photographs, which are very compelling and show, show what life was like for in the African-American white world in the 60s. So, you know, again, telling the story and talking about that segment in time through some very compelling photographs. Well, thank you, Lee. 
Make sure you check this out for yourself. The walkthrough does not do it justice. It's located right behind the town hall, the Fairfield Museum. This exhibit runs to the end of February, so make sure you check it out. With BizBuzz TV, I'm Rose. Catch the buzz at bizbuzztv.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.